Hi, it's Tiziana. So I'm in the middle of making a gradient. So I have uh, this around my my nails. I forget the name of this uh, liquid latex, yeah. And then I'm going to make a gradient with Orly and China Glaze. This is um, I'm with the lifeguard, I think. Yeah, this one is I'm with the lifeguard and scenic root. And then I have lava lamp and Orly. Another Orly is a thrill seeker. So I want to make a some gradients. The reason is that I found a OPI that I've been looking for like over a year and sometimes I used to look for it and I couldn't find it and then maybe a month passed and then I used to look for it like I used to look for it one in how you say sometimes and then one of the times where I where I looked for this OPI I found it and this was before Christmas and the OPI is this one, is called Black Spotted, and I found it in uh, in an Australian shop. So they only had three. So please don't ask me for the shop name because they only had three. I bought one of them, and the two were gone. I think day after or few days after because I checked. I wanted to buy one extra. But they were already gone, so they were they were only three. So yeah, I'm really happy I found it, and I want to try it. So I read about it, and it's it's uh, very difficult to apply. I love to have unique polishes. So I have uh, two two small sponges. I already started with the one and then I have another one for the other colors and I just cut small pieces I don't use the whole sponge and it's dry I, I don't make it wet so I already sponged once And I normally wait like one minute until I dab again. So maybe I should have chosen some some stronger colors because this one is very sheer. So I've dabbed four times now and you can still see the line. But uh, now I already started so I'm just gonna continue. So now I removed the latex and cleaned up and uh, so I have read that you have to apply top coat before you apply the special OPI. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply one of my favorite top coats which is this one Colores de Caro ready in 5. So now that I have my gradient, I'm gonna apply this and please remember it's my first time. So, but I have read, like I said, that you're supposed to put a very thin layer. So I'm gonna try. So 
I'm thinking something like that. It looks very nice. You just have to, yeah, like this. So I'm gonna try one more nail and then I'll show you how it looks. when I apply the top coat. So I'll finish my nails and I'll show you how the finished look is. I'm gonna add some Essie top coat. And uh, after I'm going to stamp also, just to make it a little bit more beautiful. So this was funny to try and I'm happy I got a hold of it. It's uh, very rare and very difficult to get a hold of it. Like I said, I've been trying for over a year or maybe more than a year, I don't really know. I think maybe this would look nice matte also. So I thought I would do a little bit of nail art. <laughs> so for the nail art I'm gonna use stamping plate from Moira Texture 2. Stamping polish from Kaleidoscope number 55. These stamping polish, they don't have names, it's just numbers. And my Moyu stamper. So this is how they came out. Now I'm gonna do my right hand. But before I do that, uh, I wanted to show you two polishes I found in my, when I was out shopping. So the first one is from Essie. I don't know how to describe this color, it's kind of uh, between purple and brown with a gold shimmer in. It's called Star Struck Assured. But I'm not super, it looked so beautiful in the store, but uh, when I swatched it, I wasn't that happy. This is how it looks. So I put it on sale on my Instagram page. 
If you don't know, my Instagram page is in the description. So you can check once in a while because I often put I often put uh, polishes up there. And then I found one that I really really love and is this one from Nailkind. This is a vegan polish and they really make beautiful colors. I love this brand. And I've seen many other people use it on YouTube and other places too. This one is called Miami Peach. And I didn't have a color like this. It's a kind of it's copper or yeah so i didn't have this color at all and it looks like this it is super beautiful i love this one it's really really beautiful and then i have this one this is not new but i've had it it was a gift it's a five free nail polish. It's a rich fitting base coat. But I wanted to ask if anyone knows this brand. Yosik. It's made in the US, so I don't know where yeah here. It's made in the US. But um, if anyone knows it, please write it in the comments. I tested it and it's really good. It's really good. So thank you for watching, please leave me a like if you like my nails, you like my video and I'll see you very soon. I have a haul coming up and nail art and so if you're not subscribed, subscribe if you like normal nail polish, if you like nail art and swatching and nail old nail polishes then uh, I can recommend subscribing to this channel. Bye!